Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett, Life on This Planet blog. Coming at you with a new Friday on the turntable. Uh, first off, thank you guys for um, all the glorious feedback from uh, to last week's feature where I uh, ranked David Bowie's albums from, the, from 69 to 1980. If you missed that, be sure to check it out here on my channel. Ranking David Bowie through the 70s. Uh, yeah, cool. Lots of cool responses on that one. Um, really enjoyed hearing all your guys' favorites and such. So, um, as you can see from the title, today we're talking about the band New Model Army. Now, um, I, I would guess that a lot of you guys aren't familiar with this band, although they should be, should have been, should be really huge with just the quality of their albums and the musicianship and the integrity and sincerity of the band. Now, um, I first heard a new Model Army back, I don't know, sometime in the 90s, but I never um, really paid much attention. I heard a song here or there, but not where I was, you know, where I went out and bought things because I just didn't know, didn't know enough about it and I probably just wasn't paying attention. Anyways, so I think it was in 2003, my band Audra got asked to open for New Model Army uh, here in Phoenix at a club called The Mason Jar, which is now closed down, but it was kind of a legendary uh, Phoenix club that everyone, every band you can think of has played at. Um, and so we got asked to play with New Model Army. Now, you know, I've, we've over the years played with a lot of different bands and, you know, some really good bands and some bands not so great. So this was one of those shows where after we played, uh, we were just hanging out and I remember standing with me and my brother who's also in my band and we were standing in the back of the club waiting for New Model Army to go on and, um, and so they started to play and I just remember me and him just migrating forward and forward and forward and by the like halfway through the show we were up against the stage with our arms up. I mean it was one of the most intense concert experiences I've ever had. Just the uh, intensity and just the passion that would just go into their performance. The singer Justin Sullivan just his eyes it's just like as intense as you can get just standing right underneath him watching and just like I said sincere earlier just like really just like heartfelt just really honest and just man just intense so I was completely blown away so um, after the after the show ended um, I went and um, walked over to the merchandise table which was right next to where ours ours was and um, and I went and their, their manager, a guy named Tommy T, has been with them since the beginning and they started in like 1980. Um, from Northern England, they're from Bradford, New Model Armies. And so I went over and I, I uh, bought the CD from them uh, for 10 bucks. And uh, right after I gave him the money, he um, got, out, got out from behind the table and he walks over and he comes right back to the Audra table and he gives me the $10 back for an Audra CD, which I thought was really cool. So we've gotten to play with them two more times uh, over the next uh, over since, since then. So great band, great group of guys, and um, killer albums. So today I'm talking about this album, which was their fourth one, and this was Thunder and Consolation. It came out in 1989 on EMI, and as you can see from this one, it even has a little tour sticker on it that was used for uh, promotional purposes, and it's actually for a European tour, which actually. I even take that back. It's strictly a German tour. So uh, that has that sticker on there. So this is definitely an import. It's got a cool gatefold with the lyrics in there. And um, and then you see the back cover there with the song titles. Um, it's in a uh, picture sleeve here with the credits. Um, what's really interesting, and it's got the logo on, on here. What's really interesting for those of you jazz aficionados, you'll be, uh, you may recognize the name Tom Dowd. Tom Dowd uh, produced, engineered, I mean, a ton of albums, a legend in the music industry. And he engineered things like John Coltrane's Giant Steps, he, Charles Mingus, I mean, anyone you can think of, Aretha Franklin, he worked with um, Eric Clapton, Cream, I mean, we're talking the early Cream albums, uh, Leonard Skinner, just a bunch, bunch of stuff. So anyways, he, he produced, the, um, produced this album. Uh, the, the vinyl has 10 songs on it, whereas the CD version had an extra five, five tracks on it, if you can see it, which were st uh, stuff that was or taken from well, an EP that came out around the same, around the same time period as this. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, 
another kind of interesting story about this was uh, even another time I went and seen them play down in Tucson. Uh, they were doing like an acoustic tour and we weren't on the bill, but I went down just because of this band is just so great. And that, and that same guy, Tommy T, the manager, who has since passed away, sadly, over the last uh, a couple of years ago. But I remember this show down in Tucson at a club called Plush. Um, you know, it was an acoustic show where it was just him and acoustic guitar and I think a guy playing like percussion. And, uh, you know, like most shows, there's always some drunk guy there who's just too loud. And, you know, you're trying to enjoy the show because it's like a, an amazing experience. Then you got some d-bag that's like talking really loud so i just remember standing there in that tommy t just you know he's like i see his head pop up like who the hell is that and he just walks right up to the guy now this should happen more often he just walks right up to the guy that was like talking and all drunk and he's like shut the f up and that was it and the guy like got dead quiet and that was it. <laughs> I was cracking up because I thought it was just so great. Rather than just like dealing, every just not saying anything and dealing with this drunk guy, he just like nipped it right away. Bam. Anyways, that was a cool, uh, a cool little thing. So um, yeah, like I said, this came out in 1989. Fourth album. I would say this is this is my favorite uh, New Model Army um, album. Now, if I had to recommend, if you've never heard New Model Army, go on YouTube, Spotify, whatever, buy the record or whatever. But this song 225 right here is just phenomenal. Probably my favorite song of theirs. Vagabonds, which you may have heard. It's got some killer violin by this guy named Ed, um, Ed Elaine Johnson. It plays on that one. And then Green and Gray is also phenomenal. It's kind of a story about... Now, I don't know if you guys have any friends, but people that are never happy with where they're at, whether it be their location or where they're at in life, like they're always looking for something better, but they never really realize that happiness only kind of comes from, it's a state of mind, it's just not where you're at. You know, now there's the situations where, you know, where you're at could lead to some unhappiness, but you know, th this is a story about someone who's just like always something better is always somewhere else and he never really focuses on where you're at at that moment and trying to find happiness with your situation as it is and it's a killer song um, uh, kind of about that and um, I really recommend looking that one up and that's that's green and gray and I think that was a single and I think um, Vagabonds was a single a single I think stupid questions was also a single anyways this this album is is a 10 um, I know I throw that term a lot I like to really feature on things I really like here on my on my channel and uh, you cannot go wrong with with this album if, if if I were to recommend starting with one it would be this one or or you can see Ghost of Cain right there which uh, preceded this one I think that was from 86 I could no 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 uh, anyways around that time period I, I forgot the exact year on that one but um, yeah, I also uh, brought this to show you. Uh, when I bought that CD that night when we first played with them, the singer signed it for, for me. This is like a, a singles collection. And uh, this one was from 2000. This is called Eight. This is also a pretty uh, phenomenal record CD in itself. Um, so yeah, that would be my recommendations on this. Let me see if I uh, missed anything I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, they reissued this in 2005 on CD and it has like a second disc. The first CD I think is like that the album as it is on vinyl. The next disc has a bunch of, you know, the five extra tracks, it has some demos, you know, bonus stuff. You know you know how those reissues go and the album is, is, um, is remastered. Now also, I, I also made a note for myself that, that Tom Dowd who produced this, who I talked about, there's a great documentary all about him and just kind of all about music. And it's called uh, Tom Dowd and the Language of Music. I watched it one night on um, Netflix, I don't know, a couple of years ago. It was on the streaming side of it. And uh, I was just, it was just great. So if you could check that out, it's Tom Dowd and the Language of Music. Um, anything else I want to say about this? Okay, so if you guys have not heard of New Model Army, um, so like I said, they formed in 1980. They're still putting out albums to this day. I think it's been a couple of years since they had um, they had a new one, but they tour. If you ever get the chance to see them live, they are just incredible. And uh, you can't go wrong. If you find any of their CDs, any of their records, buy them. They're all really good, especially, like I said, especially this one, um, which, is my, which is my favorite one here. So um, I think I'll leave it at that. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, right here where I'm sitting just a few minutes ago here in Arizona on this very spot, there's a scorpion that crawled by. So um, 
Yeah, so that's not cool. So anyways, you guys have a good weekend. I'll be back next week. Well, I'll be back in a couple in a day or two with uh, my weekly playlist. Um, and some vinyl finds. Uh, I have a few to show you. So uh, stop back in a couple days. And if you're just watching this for the first time, click on subscribe up there. And, uh, oh, I do have a link on my music blog. I did a best of New Model Army. Like, I ranked the best songs. I don't know what it was, 21, 22 songs, something like that. I'll put a link there in the description box so you guys can check that out as well if you want to uh, look at singles and stuff and see which, uh, which uh, sample some songs. So anyways, you guys have a good weekend.